How's it going, guys? My name's Shane. Welcome back to the Horror Basement and another installment in the classic horror review series. Today we're going to be talking about The Last Man on Earth from 1964. Uh, this movie is our first Vincent Price sighting in the classic horror review series, and he is playing Dr. Robert Morgan, who is the titular uh, Last Man on Earth. Uh, now this movie is the first film adaptation of Richard Matheson's novel, I Am Legend, and of course there's been other adaptations of the book since, um, namely the Will Smith's version from a few years ago uh, that has the same name as the actual novel. So the reason that Robert, Robert Morgan is the last man on Earth is that a global pandemic has spread from Europe to the United States, um, killing off basically the entire population. <sighs> As if that could ever happen. Uh, so the only difference between um, the virus in this movie and the one that's going on right now is that it uh, those who die and don't have their bodies immediately burned uh, are rein, reinvigorated, reincarnated. Uh, their bodies are reanimated as zombie-like vampires that sleep all day and then come out at night to shamble about and uh, look for humans to suck the blood of. Um, so we actually join um, Dr. Morgan uh three years after the um, the fall of society, and he has spent that entire three years um, fortifying his house and going around block by block through the city, uh, hunting for vampires during the day uh, to kill them while they sleep. Uh, now, the one interesting thing, um, this is kind of an odd role for Vincent Price, because he does a lot more, like... Um, running around and action stuff that you're generally be accustomed to him doing. Um, and it's, at times it's kind of funny because he does look kind of gangly and awkward when he's meant to be like running around fighting off crowds of uh, vampires and jamming stakes into people's hearts with a hammer. Uh, but I think Price makes up for it um, with being... Um, with the gravitas and the uh, level of class he brings to um, the voiceovers that accompany the scenes where he's by himself and the, the dialogue he does get in this. Um, this movie was actually filmed entirely in Italy, so everyone except Price in the movie actually has their uh, voices dubbed in, which um, it's not that distracting, but uh, you, can definitely, you can definitely tell. So, as the movie progresses, we find out that not all of the zombies, the zombie vampires, are, you know, mindless, uh, part of a mindless horde. Some of them are actually, um, have kept their wits about them and are attempting to reform society. And in their new, uh, vampire society, ironically, um... Dr. Morgan has become the monster because he comes out during the day when they sleep and, you know, picks them off one by one. So as the movie reaches its climax, um, up to this point, the, uh, the hordes of vampires that have been hounding Morgan have more resembled, like, um, George Romero zombies, except they can talk, uh, just kind of very shambling, tattered clothes, and they kind of, like, beat on his house with sticks and holler for him to come out. But the proper societal vampires roll up in their, like, black turtlenecks in um, army jeeps with Tommy guns, and they chase, uh, they chase Dr. Morgan uh, into the town church where they um, all gang up and kill him as he screams about how they're the freaks and he's the only real man. Uh, so ironically, um, in this new society, the last man on earth is now the monster. 
Yeah, so overall, I um, I really enjoyed this movie. Um, the budget is super low, but with the with the really good concept from uh, Matheson's novel and the acting chops of Vincent Price, I think that more than makes up for the kind of um, the B movie feel that the budget and Italian production kind of give it. Uh, so overall, I would definitely recommend this one. Um, it's an enjoyable movie. Uh, love Vincent Price. He's straight up legit horror legend. Uh, so that's going to be it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, leave a like. Join the Basement Army by subscribing today. And I want to thank the couple of new subscribers I've got in the past uh, few weeks. And if you have any recommendations for horror movies you'd like me to watch and review, uh, drop them down in the comments. And thank you. Bye-bye. Stay inside. Don't break the quarantine. Vampires. Vampires.